Shalom everyone, it's Chris. Just wanted to let you know that I'm still alive and I wanted to squeak out one more video before the year ended. Uh, so let me ask you all a question. How was your year? Yeah, me too. I have been busy. I had a lot to go on this year, uh, but not all of it good. Do you remember where we all were this time last year? So many people were thinking, boy, I can't wait for 2020 to be over. 2021 is going to be so great because everything is going to go back to normal. Yeah, not so much. This was another difficult year, to put it mildly. We've all endured our individual challenges this year. Some of us have weathered unemployment, some financial difficulties, some people have had illnesses, injuries, relationship issues. And you know, lately I find myself ruminating on the word loss, uh, mainly because that's been the theme for this decade so far, it seems. And God recalled to my mind Luke twenty-two thirty-one, where Jesus tells Peter, Satan has asked to sift you like wheat. And I feel like that is what's happening, not just with us as individuals, but with the whole world right now. We are being sifted. And what does it mean to sift something? Well, in broad terms, you have two things that are mixed together, two things that you want to separate, presumably because one is valuable to you, but the other is worthless. In fact, it will actually decrease the worth of this thing that's valuable if it's allowed to remain mixed with it. Think about it. How much would you pay for a bag of flour that has, you know, just a little bit of gravel mixed in with it? Not a whole lot, right? The problem is these two things are so intertwined that there's no real easy way to separate them. You've got to take that whole thing and pour it into a filter. And what is a filter? A filter is a standard where every particle that bumps up against that standard, it's evaluated. This particle, yeah, yeah, this is flour. Th this is okay, this can pass. This particle, th this is gravel that can't pass. Well, for us as Christians, our filter is God and his word. And after you, after you take that whole mess and put it into the filter, it is shaken and shaken and shaken some more until everything that is valuable is retained and everything that is not valuable is discarded. And ladies and gentlemen, we are being shaken right now. Our families, our communities, our countries, and our world is being shaken. Everything that we know, everything that we hold dear is coming up against God's standard. It is being evaluated and it is confusing. It is scary. It is nauseating at times. Jesus told Peter, Satan has asked to sift you like wheat, but I have prayed for you so that your faith will not fail. We are suffering loss in this decade. Yes, we are. And some of those losses are very, very painful. But Jesus is praying for us as well, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus is interceding on our behalf to our Heavenly Father so that our faith will not fail. So that when all this shaking is over, and it will be over at some point, we will be battered, we will be bruised, we will be banged up, but we will still be standing. I want to thank you all for sticking with me and supporting this channel with your time and your encouragements. Let's pray for God's will to be done in our lives, our families, our communities, our nations, and our world in 2022. God bless you, and Happy New Year.